But the pictures I see, a lot of adoptees are pretty bitter about this. The pictures we see of like Korea, like in the 80s and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. mean, in the 70s, they were not that. It wasn't that <laughs> like that 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 bad. It wasn't that bad. Like, um, so there's some, a lot of adoptees that are bitter about that. They're like, why why were you selling babies when in fact what 88 you're hosting the, <laughs> the Olympics. This is the Seoul Podcast, Driving in Korea. Please remember to like us and subscribe. I'm King Sejong, and here is your host, Joe McPherson. Welcome to... Are we doing Driving in Korea? Welcome to Driving in Korea. Uh, Joe, it's Tim, Tim. and uh, we, we're trying to do something like a... What? Coffee and comedians? Or yeah, yeah. And so, so now we're, do, we're doing like Burger King with yeah. expats <laughs> in cars. Yeah. Um, yeah, just, just going around with Tim. And we're. Um, we just got some Burger King. I wanted to try this. What is this? Is a Seagram's thing? Yes. You ready? Right? Oh, yeah, it's just sparkling water. That's exactly what I wanted. Ah, ah, sing oh, yeah, Sequence does sparkling water. Okay. Because they have a partnership with Burger King now. Ah, okay. So Tim told me we should try the long chicken sandwich. Yes. And he, and he, he put his jalapeno in my burger. <laughs> it's actually still a little bit spicy. Is it a little spicy without it? Okay. Melted into the, the mayo. Mm. I think it's the best thing. Like I said, it's the closest thing to the big chicken in the states. Okay, because the, the big chicken doesn't taste like the big chicken mm -hmm. here at McDonald's. So, okay, try it. Oh Let's look, fries! I'm gonna take the fries. Hmm. Right. Breaking my diet. Hmm. So, um, let's see, what's been going on in Korea this week? Mm. Did you have, did you have some things to say about Hello Karen? Um, yeah. Just from, from my, the Reddit, what I skimmed on, on, um, your post. Uh-huh. Yeah, it sounds like it was just, yeah, wrong. Bad timing. I, uh, again, we're, we're only getting one side of the story. Even she even like tried to put things in there with the what the father was saying. There's no way to prove that what what, what he was saying. But yeah, it's, it's a one-sided story. So yeah. Okay. Quite a rant from the German lady. What it felt of, a, it felt a little self-righteous. Yeah. What part of Korea was that? I do not know. I assume the Seoul area. Mm. Um, my guessing is around the, the Itte one, but mm, <clears throat> I do not know. You got both the three middle school mm -mm. kids, or sorry, fifth grade kids that got COVID in Beijing this week. First, oh, really? First case in Korea in a public school. Yeah. Oh my! Three fifth graders in Daejeon of all Daejeon, places. Daejeon, they 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 they've, they've been. They haven't really had much COVID. They're in one of the green areas. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so they, yeah. That's because of their mustard. Uh, they said it, they caught it from a middle school sibling. Oh, oh. And then one of those boys, exposed, they've been exposed to 150 other kids. They already figured that out. So they're shutting all the public oh, schools down. My. Middle school, public schools. All the academies are shut down. Oh, my. Until August, from what I heard. Okay. Mm. Hmm. So generally, how are you handling handling it? Dude, this this mask is like part of my wardrobe. I put it on like you got the I put beard. it on like clean underwear. Like you got the beard going. I got the beard. It covers my my, my double chin. <laughs> <laughs> Works beautiful. Works beautiful. <clears throat> Always have that. 
face, you know? You know black beard. Black beard. Black beard. Black beard. Tim. I'm actually finding that I, I've been watching these. I have about ten of them, but I watched the kid. Yeah, I got I got a lot of them the too. K, the K ninety four. I'd, I'd bunch I'd bought a bunch of them before this started for the, the dust. Yeah. And uh, I bought them from China. I like mine. It's, they smell good. Yeah. Yeah. Even after you wash them, with a little, especially when you use like a dryer softener. Extra nice. What, what do you what, uh, what do you think about the replies based on your post about the Karen? Uh, okay, yeah. People's, people's response. Sometimes I wonder if people actually watch the video before they reply. Mm, I'm pretty sure they don't. I don't. I don't expect a lot of people. Well, I don't expect people to go all the way through it, but you know, do people even know? Like when they're commenting and they haven't read or. Watch the whole thing, you know. They might kind of look stupid. I think people just <laughs> respond on, on impulse sometimes. <laughs> right. Do I have some? Do I have food? Yeah. You're gonna make me starve the this sandwich? whole time. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, you have to deal with chicken me. long sandwich, as opposed to the long chicken sandwich. So this is a the long chicken sandwich. Like on a long Kaiser bun or something. What's you know what? Like? I think this is an American one. I don't think this is because they called it a sandwich and not a burger. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Not bad, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm. It's a soft roll, too. So. Mm. It's the best sandwich to have, Burger King, honestly. The Whoppers? Yeah. It's got a slight dry. cake. Oh, I like the Zinger at KFC. Oh, yeah. I haven't had it. Mm. Wow, we're hitting every manhole cover. We don't even know where we're driving. I think we're going to end up at the airport or something. We keep going down this road. We'll end up, some, we'll end up in some <clears throat> COVID-19 testing line. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friend recently, back in Ohio, Mm -hmm. she, had, she waited on the line an hour and a half mm -hmm. to get tested in her car to be able to go out from the mainland to Alaska. <laughs> mm -hmm. She had to be tested in. That was a little strange. Mm -hmm. So even within the states, you're going to be tested if you're going to fly out from, oh the, my. from the mainland. So flew out, they can go through the Canadia to go to Alaska. I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on, sorry, back to you know, yeah, this week's you know, the crazy suicide, right? 28 year old yeah, triathlete. Triathlete. Triathlete and what? Was it in the Olympics or something? It's the national team, I believe. She's the youngest national team. Oh, she, yeah, she was accepted as a teenager. Mm. So the abuse, from what the articles say, started when she was a teen. Mm. The verbal and whatever else. What's gets me is these stories came out mm. about other people during the last Olympics. Mm -hmm. And still, no one's cleaning house on this thing. Right. Yeah. She had, she had recordings from her phone or something. I don't know, live recordings. Of like yeah, I think even the... Um, and I heard slapping and all that. The curling ladies. I think even they, Jung Mi, Jung Mi. Um, I think they um, they had stories too. Really? I think. <clears throat> that sucks. Well, that stems, I think, yeah, from this whole hierarchy, power trips. It's found so prevalent in, in the Asian culture. Right? Really? There's, there's hierarchies in Asian cultures? Tell me more, Teb. <laughs> Not that we have, both have many here more than 10 years. <laughs> For those that are watching that are not from me. Okay. Very hierarchy. Very <laughs> Confucian level. Mm. Almost caste level. I kind of want to say caste level. Yeah? Mm. The, yeah, I wonder if the caste level, did I start in India I don't want to. I don't want to blame it on Confucianism totally. Really? Okay. 
platform. Maybe closer to neo-confucianism, which is a whole different breed. The competition, I think, comes from confucianism. Oh my. <laughs> You're at the port. I think we just... Is this North Korea in front of us? Well, you know where a cool place to go to? In Gimpo? Uh, you know what? I don't even know where we are, so that don't even know. <laughs> well, a cool place to just like, sit and watch is, is it, that port. You seen that port over there? Or where the... There's a port? Oh. Like mm -hmm. yacht, with yachts and stuff? Oh. Well, we got the... Oh, really? Right on the... Right on the West Sea? It's over by the... All those, uh... Factories. Where, where they bring, bring in all the shipments. Okay. Mm. It's over by McDonald's. I intentionally drove out. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I intentionally drove out to like <clears throat> that side mm. to see if I could find a place where I could see a sunset over the water. Or is this all factories? No, mm. oh, that's pretty good. Actually. They have a, a fake Marina Bay out there. Oh. It's the Gimpo Marina Bay. Oh, oh, I know where you're talking about. That's right near me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's way down further that way. Hmm. Oh, in case you want it. Well, I was hungry than I thought I was. That's pretty good, right? Mm hmm. I wish I got more. <laughs> so. We should be the first for that driving. Mm. So, the purpose of this was we were. We heard there was a drive through. Burger King. Mm. We went hunting for it. Oh, you know, once. We found another one and we went there instead. Let's try to find this drive through one again. Um, we were on a quest and we, we only sort of accomplished our mission. Well, that's the interesting thing is in America, I'm an Asian American. Uh huh. I'm not American Asian, I'm Asian American. According to all the applications. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or other. <laughs> Your or other? Pacific Island or Pacific Islander. <laughs> you doing that? No, no, no. I'm just saying those are the options. Like, like you can be, oh, okay. Asian American, Pacific Islander, Hispanic. Uh, last time I saw him. <clears throat> We're doing census now. Have you gotten any census forms? No. Okay. America. I didn't get it last time. I think. Now I know where. I know where you're talking about. I know that. I know another place to go too. Yeah. Some place romantic. That's all right. So close to Gimpo, right? Lebanese place. Oh, hello, boss. Hello, boss. <clears throat> Not open. Wow, the surprises you see. Mm. Burger King really improved their price. No, this is not sponsored by Burger King. <laughs> not against sponsorship, but this is not sponsored by Burger King. So you've been here 10 years. What's your experience been so far? Oh, um, that was a loaded, wide open question. Yeah, it's actually 14 years this July. Oh, 14 years? Yeah, yeah. this July. And I'm just talking to a friend today. I'm a little frustrated because I'm not totally accepted. Is it, is it, ooh, is it Korean? <laughs> this road, man. Mm. I'm, sure, I'm going to blame the road. It's like Michigan roads. The, the ice and the frozen. Anyhow. Yeah, so I feel like I'm not totally accepted as a Korean because I can't communicate or speak speak to them. I don't. I can't relate to the staff meetings, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that part, I don't. You know, I don't feel totally accepted as a, as a as a Korean, but I don't feel any like necessarily any discrimination or ra racism. Some people think sometimes they think I'm Japanese or Chinese. In some, Korea, some say Korea. Yeah, they think you're Japanese. <clears throat> mm. Some taxi drivers have said that. How does that make you feel? I'm okay. Okay? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. The Japanese people are pretty, pretty good looking people, you know. Well, okay, there you go. Good looking people. And yeah, I mean, I was even discussing with my, with my Korean students. They're like, there's, there's no real true breed Korean, anyways, because they, they were all like, came from usually from Mongolia or. Yes, my um, wife and daughter got their DNA tested. Oh, okay. Find out their heritage. Mm -hmm. well, wife found out she is seven percent Japanese. Mm -hmm. Wow. The rest is Korean. I'd, I'd like to do that actually. <laughs> I took a DNA test. Uh huh. For a family search thing. Oh. Well, yeah. Another came with it. Yeah. That's the other thing is I, I've been here for fourteen years. Uh huh. My first two years, I, I already completed the family search. One on KBS Live TV. Oh, you did that? So yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're an adoptee, and you you're, you came yeah. looking for your birth. Well, I came for a, a, a pre-economic pre collapse, 2007. So I was doing that, getting out of Dodge. Mm-hmm. And also getting to know my culture, and, uh, people, the language, the food. And unfortunately, I didn't catch up, catch on with the language too well. Was it everything you hoped it would be? It's all right. But the pictures I see, a lot of adoptees are pretty bitter about this. The pictures we see of like Korea, like in the '80s and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. mean, the '70s, they were not that. It wasn't that like that 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 bad. It wasn't that bad. Like, um, so there's some a lot of adoptees that are bitter about that. They're like, why why were you selling babies when in fact what '88. You're hosting the Olympics. Oh my God, you're right. I, you know what? I, okay, I'm dumb. I'm, and, and I'm in my world. I was shipping out thousands, of that. thousands I of never, babies a day. I never thought that that would be a source. Yeah, of course, mm. of course, mm. that's a source of anger. Sure, sure. Oh my God. I'm not so bitter about it. Like some of my friends, other people that I've, I've met, yeah. are very angry, very, very upset. That, you know, oh, you don't have a choice as a baby <laughs> if you're going to be, you know, sold to. A white family, rich family. So it was actually sold, though. Yeah, sure. Oh, no. Twenty to forty grand. <whistles> Upwards to eighty grand, U.S. dollars. Hmm. Depends on it. So, yeah, there's some. Yeah. Why would so, you? <clears throat> so then I think about that too when I'm here. I'm like, was it better to know my culture, know my language, and maybe not live, you know? Different status, middle to the middle to class, you know, middle class, whatever. Yeah. What, what, what's better to know your, your you know your your culture, your food, your, be accepted, and you know, have a family, mm -hmm. or I would I don't know if I'm necessarily have a family, but or you know, or go off to overseas, mm -hmm. be raised in a middle class white family, and in Ohio have, have the privileges, Michigan, Michigan. Oh yeah, we mentioned that last time in Michigan. So. Yeah, there's some. Um, that's one reason I came here, just, just to see that. Like I said, I mean, I thousands, am of Bibles, thousands of Bibles, thousands of Bibles, thousands of babies were deported and sold <clears throat> in the seventies and eighties. Mm -hmm. I mean, post-war was really like fifties, right? Fifty-six, fifty-seven, sixties, early sixties. Yeah. The 70s is when it was really picking up, though. Yeah, yeah. I saw pictures from the 70s, like real, actual photos. Uh -huh. There's girls in like short skirts, leather, leather boots. Yeah. Taxis with the word "taxi" in English on top. Yeah. You know, driving around ETA one. Well, I'm, I guess because the soldiers were could afford that. Mm. I'm just saying, like, they, they look very modern. Like, uh -huh. the people were dressed nice. And granted, I'm sure there were. There were some poverty and that, and that sort of thing. but the government has made millions <clears throat> that's what a lot of duffies are very bitter about about all these agencies yeah that the, the sold you know sold babies and, they and just, then they didn't clear the paperwork over there they just pocketed there's all the these adoptees that are also that are, that are over there that are being deported back here now, uh, now, now you got hundreds of adoptees that are deported over here because they never actually had citizenship yeah I, I think we know a few of few, you yeah. Yeah, you've seen, you've seen some on the news and stuff. I know I met I met quite a few. And that, that's really messed up. That's where it's like someone dropped the ball. Yeah. Obviously. And, and yeah. 
Yeah. So I think that <clears throat> that is being taken care of as far as like uh, as far as laws and paperwork. I think that's. I don't know if it's totally official yet or not, but I know a lot of international ado adoptions have cut down. But the thing is, is that Koreans don't want to adopt unless they're the ad Koreans because they're not part of their bloodline. That's not blood. Mm. Yeah, they're all about the bloodline. Yeah, and I've met a few that have adopted them. The kids are doing well, families are well. Mm -hmm. That would have been, you know, the ideal situation, really, yeah. to be adopted in your own country, right, by your own people that look like you, speak yeah. the same language. And that's another thing. It's like blood is so mm. important. Um, I, I discussed I, I discussed the idea with my wife one time of adopting, and she just really? just extremely just did not want to. Oh really? Yeah. It was before you before you had Jean? No, it was after we had Jean, and 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 we. Um, oh, that's what it was. Is we lived next to an orphanage. Mm -hmm. and we sometimes we saw the kids out mm -hmm. inside, and I was like, "Man, I just kind of want to adopt one of them." Sure. Yeah. And she was like, "How can you do that? They're not your blood." Well, how do you respond to that? <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember how I responded because over the years I've learned just to just clamp down my teeth, <laughs> just don't say anything. Yeah, I mean, this country is like really progressed, obviously. Since, yeah. Since I left in the 70s. Yeah. I mean, we had the long chicken sandwich now. <laughs> that's right. We, we couldn't could find the drive through but that's all right. That would have been nice. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll do some more research. We'll, try, we'll, try we'll see. I'm we'll sure see. it's here, though. I've seen it before. It is. I, you know what? I think it's. I think it's the one near Jungidong. Mm -hmm. It's past Jungidong, which is quite of a drive. Well, this is a bit of a drive. You're going too. there tomorrow, right? Tomorrow? Uh, I'm not going to Jungidong. Oh, I'm going to Jungidong, yeah, but I'm not going out to Burger King. I'm just to scope the area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, our plan is there's a, there's a canal area. Mm. It's okay, but just, just to get the kids out. Yeah. Um, some of the dads and just getting our kids together and then wander around the thing is, is they, they built this well, this beautiful canal area mm -hmm. in Jungidong and Gimpo mm -hmm. and they can't get any businesses in there hardly it's all cafes Not really. how many cafes can you fit in a place mm. Uh, it would be great if there was a nightlife area there, but it just is not the type of neighborhood <clears throat> that would support nightlife. Right. It's all suburban families. Mm. I heard Unchan has something like that. Unchan? I'm sure. I mean, it's... The ritzy area? Industrial ritzy area? It's, I mean, it's, it's it just... They, they were just trying to really build it up, really... Uh, it's nice to walk, but it's empty. Yeah. It's a natural <laughs> canal? No, no. It's all man made? No, it's totally Disney World. Oh, really? Which I don't really mind. Mm. Um, if it's done well. Mm. If it's done well. I mean, we're, we're driving right near the Emil Back Memorial Canal. Oh, yeah? Right over here, the Ara Waterway. Is he still in prison, by the way? Yep, he's yeah. still in prison. <laughs> <clears throat> I heard the Samsung guy got out early. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's just a rite of passage. That's phone, that's part of phone every sales were down. every every CEO has to go to jail before you're allowed to mm. be CEO. Mm. Their hazing ritual. That's true. But the same things happen in the states. Mosey Mo and Lori, Lori Laughlin, whatever. Yeah, they're, they're getting all pretty scotch free too. Yeah, for what the, they did. Wow, they're gonna they're gonna run like maybe four months. I think <laughs> most of them doing like four months. Yeah. And like <clears throat> they call it club fed. 
basically, what do you, you got your tennis courts? Yeah, that's what I hear. <clears throat> That was Martha Stewart's situation when she was in prison. She was a club fed too. Yeah. Oh. It's really interesting what money can what money can buy. I mean, like the Epstein thing. Yeah. Oh, did you see his, his partner? Yeah, was that's a, that's, that was the big news overseas today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, she, she rightfully should. She was a partner. She was into that. She yeah, was his, she was his right hand woman. You know? I only loosely followed what was going on there. Wow. Have you seen the Netflix thing? <laughs> Not oh. interested. Oh, really? It's really interesting. I mean, I think it is. Just yeah, it told me everyone told me that about Tiger King too, and that was disappointing. <laughs> did, you, did you go through all of it? Yeah. Tiger King? Yeah. Uh, how about Wild Ball Country? Nope. Nope, I think I saw it, but then, nope. I thought that was good. I've mostly been catching up on movies that I should have watched a long time ago that everyone everyone else has watched, and when they're talking about it, I say, oh, I haven't seen that yet. They go, oh my God, how could you have not seen that movie yet? Yeah, what's the most recent one you watched? Um, uh, uh, American Psycho. But things like, I was just walking out in this area right here. I was watching Clockwork Orange on my walk. Yeah. On your phone? Just yeah, on my phone. Just watching <laughs> Clockwork Orange on my phone, taking a walk. It's quite a classic too. Yeah. It's not something I'd watch again, but I got it. Mm. A bit disturbing. Dark. American Psycho the same way. I mean, I liked mm. it. I got the point. Mm. I got all the jokes. I got a lot of the end jokes. And uh, I don't think I'd see it again. Yeah. Clueless. I finally saw Clueless. Oh my god. Again. Wouldn't see it again. Yeah. Man, that's a time capsule of the 90s. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was about. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Sat through that long thing. Again, I understand why, but I won't see that again because that's so damn long. Mm. The interesting thing about. I don't know if you got into it, the Wild Wild Country part is <clears throat> Godfather's, the director of Godfather's exploit is part in, in, involved in it too. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's part Scorsese's of it. Scorsese's wife? Yeah, something like that. Not Scorsese's, another one. Puzo? He wrote it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. And the phone. Co-founder of Nike. He, he's, he's Mike he's Knight? Knight. Phil Knight. Phil Knight. Uh, I can't remember. They're in Beaverton, Oregon. Now. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I thought his name was something different. But he, he's the one that started like the track shoe, turning it over into the running shoe from Nike. But he, he's actually involved in that too. Like, huh. in, in, the, in the documentary. Oh. Okay. So it's got really some interesting characters in it. That I never, I never heard growing up in the news. You don't hear this stuff. No, uh, I might that's, check it out. That's what I think is really cool. But also, been catching up on Rick and Morty. Okay. I want to start watching that German show, Dark. Mm. But that's not a show that you can just do, watch while doing the dishes or walking because mm. you got to read the subtitles. Mm. Even though, I mean, my German's okay, but. <laughs> Not good enough to just listen to it. Yeah. Oh, so you, you, so you tried the cereal this morning, huh? Uh oh. Ah. How was that? Is, green so onion it's pretty checks? pretty good, huh? It's okay. But not better without milk, right? Um, yeah, it's better without milk. I mean, with milk, Chex is always good with milk. Mm. And that was a testament to how good Chex is. I is like that, it without, I like it without, without milk, too. Like yeah, yeah, snack, yeah, right? yeah. But, but the, the, it's about the texture of Chex. Mm. really works well with milk. Mm. And that's just a testament just how good Chex is, is that even the onion flavor was pretty good. Really? And milk. Not great. Yeah, yeah. Now, what, one thing I didn't say in my video, mm. but you haven't seen the video on, you can see it on YouTube on Zing Kimchi, um, is the aftertaste. I ended up having a really strong aftertaste. Oh, and really? I was, I was belching onions. Really? 
for the rest of the morning. There's some sugared cereals in America. I just tried the recent one. They have a new one that's a, uh, oh, what is it? It's the uh, Lucky Charms Fruit. Fruit Lucky Charms. Yeah, I saw that was and on the like, coupon. Yeah, it kind of like numbs my, gives this numbing feeling on my roof of my mouth. Huh. It seems like they're not coming out with new cereals, but variations of the cereals yeah, you know. Yeah. But that was crazy. Like, they've never had a variation of Lucky Charms. And now they're so fusing weird. cereals with other products. Like, there's, there's like, uh, a, there's like a Fruit Loops flavored Pop Tarts or something like that. that. I saw one today, a Korean one. It was like a Hershey's chocolate with like marshmallow or something. Yeah. Have you seen that one? Uh, yeah, I've seen that. That's diabetes in a box. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry. I saw that guy coming. Passenger side airbag. <laughs> Does this come with the, the, the curtain airbags too? I do not know. Do you want to find out? No, no, I'm sorry. Do you want to get jackknifed and find out? No, it's okay. <clears throat> so, anyhow, back to the suicide thing. It's very sad. 28 years old. Yeah, um, 22, she, right? 22? Was she? Uh, it was 28. I think the ice skater was 22. The ice skater was 22, yes. That's what I read, yeah. And she, yeah, she gave several warnings. Her parents gave warnings. This is what's going on. You know, do something about it. They just, they just turned the, they just turned the, the other way. Yeah. So the Ministry of Sports and <clears throat> Tourism Culture, our old friends. Wow. They're like going, oh, we, okay, we'll, we'll do something about it. We'll look into it. Didn't they say that? They said that after the ice skater, right? To the uh, street skater? Yeah. We'll look into it. Wow. I've mentioned before, I think it's on Dark Side of Soul podcast. Is it? Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, Dark Side podcast. We, we, we talked about Puck Chung Hee. Um, the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism is just, <laughs> it just seems to be. Just where any corrupt official will go, that's where you're gonna go. Really? <laughs> There's just, just so many bad stories comes from that one ministry, that one agency. Even in the Park Chung Gites or something like that. Yeah. Wow. Well, they were heavily involved in Puck and Ham. Mm. Hey, so you see this? You see this car ahead of us, right? As you the, the Tivoli? Yeah, read it backwards. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Is that crazy? Uh, That's how they did it, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I get it. I uh, love it. I love it. Pretty clever, right? Yeah. Sounds cool either way. This is too cold. Okay. Anyhow, yeah, like, I don't know what it's going to take for them to. Stop abusing their power. Uh, we've had all these celebrity suicides, K-pop suicides, mm. and I still don't think anything's been done about it. I don't think anything's been done. So, waiting for the next wave of K-pop suicides because <clears throat> no one's done anything about this. Mm. Or other athletes will follow suit. Usually, there's, there's a word for that. I forgot what it was called. Some, some effect after a, a star or an athlete commits suicide. And then, not snowballs, it's another, it's a worse effect. Um, it after copycat? Copycat, yeah, maybe, yeah, copycat suicides. I think it happens more in Korea than the US. Yeah, uh, suicide is, does not have as much, doesn't seem to have as much negative stigma as it does in the West. Uh, Korea is still uh, in the top, at least the top two or three yeah. OECD countries, right? Yeah. Averaging about almost 20 a day. I, I did not know that figure. Yeah. But we only hear about the important stars, the important people. Yeah. I've, had, I've talked to foreign friends that have heard, like, bodies, like, fell out of a, jumped out of an apartment. Yeah, yeah, I've heard, I've, I've had a few, some, some have told me stories of that, wow. Busan, yeah, um, there's, um, 
two, two girls, middle schools just did it in, in Incheon oh, last week. Oh, no, no, two middle no, schools, no. same building, they didn't know each other. Within like two hours apart. Oh, that, that makes me right there in so scared. That's why I'm watching my daughter so closely. I'm so scared of what this does to the kids. It's almost, a, it's almost like a, it's a strange curse over the land. Like, value life. So. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's, well, there's not much of a value on getting me mental he mental help. Mm. Getting therapy. Yeah, that's one thing. That's the other thing. It's a shame factor. Um, and that suicide is still just seen as a way out. There's not... Mm. It doesn't seem like I remember there was you know, there was a wave of teen suicides in the eighties, mm. and there were they were in the U.S. Mm. and there were so many media campaigns against teen suicide, and they had a teen suicide hotline. Or do we have it? I know we have a suicide hotline here. Do we have a teen suicide hotline? Mm, I don't know. You don't see it, but you don't see it advertised anywhere. Mm. Always bust through the uh, McDonald's drive through quick food. We still get a little drive through eat on. You, still, you I sure? Go, I, I go through there all the time. You sure you want to do it? Yeah, if you're up for it. I'm a little, still a little hungry. Okay. You can go for like a double cheeseburger. Oh, you can't, they have a new triple cheeseburger. I saw that. I'm not doing wow. that. That's just, that's just a meatball. <laughs> it's a heart attack. It's a ketchup laden meatball. My friend got it. He likes it. Like, Look pretty good, but you I'm know, okay with just a double cheeseburger. I've done it when, you know, when they had the double max and the triple max, and I got the triple max, and it was like it was not enjoyable. Mm. The balance was off. Yeah. Here, you take over the show while I navigate. We are taste testing, just, <laughs> just just for kicks, kicks and calories. But we did not. We did not. Going on the double quarter pounder with cheese or the triple cheese burger, but still had some munchies. I don't do this. Road, due to the road. I really don't do due this. To the, <laughs> the fun little road trip we're having. The wrong gimbal. Hitting up every fast okay. food place. Mmm. Oh, Very man. bad. And we didn't even use the drive thru. That was our excuse. We want to go to the drive thru. <laughs> Both places, no drive through. Oh. <laughs> what was that, Roadrunner? <laughs> mm. Just a polite one. I oh, got it. Thanks. I've gotten used to trying to navigate Big Macs in this area. <laughs> uh, this is why you're fat. Thank you! Yes. Well, I truly think McDonald's is closest to the city of the Mega as opposed to Burger King. I forgot. I forgot what they taste like in America. Okay. Use the same ingredients, they use the same soap, smells the same in the bathrooms. <laughs> Tinsel. The floor is sticky. It's <laughs> like America. I talked to someone there on one of my tours, mm -hmm. and they were working for one of those big companies. I think looking to go into Korea. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I know who. No, never mind. They are in Korea. I know who it is. It's a certain American Asian chain. Uh -huh. And, uh. Food chain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bistro. Bistro. And they, um. You have chains already right here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I was being very. You're already here. Surreal about it. They got two here. I know. Yeah. So yeah, I was having a meeting with them, but these are the people that were in charge of um, 
making sure the supply lines were mm. consistent. Mm. So you're talking about how difficult it is to try to find the exact same vegetables and meats and everything as they have in the U.S. Because they can't just ship everything from the U.S. to Korea. They got to find local suppliers. Really? That's fascinating. I heard that's it. When I'm stuck playing much, but they need a lot of local ingredients. Yeah, and they do take and they take local 20 people. minutes every time you order. <laughs> you gotta go contact the farmer. Put the chicken. Kill the chicken. Yeah. Get permission for to kill the chicken. I've been to Mom's Touch maybe three times. Um, Me too. That's a total of one hour of my life waiting for my chicken burger. Mm -mm. The thigh burger? Which one do you go for? Yeah, the side burger, yeah. Thigh burger, side burger. Not as good as the zinger. Huh? The zinger doesn't have any sweet sauces on it. Mm -hmm. No sweet pickles, no sweet sauces. The T Rex at Moteria, their sauce is sort of sweet but very oniony. Mm. And it's humongous chicken. And it's it's a thigh, it's boneless thigh, and it's mm. They usually fry it to order because no one ever orders those but me. And so it's like, it'll burn your tongue off. It mm. explodes in juice. Wow. So I do like the Loteria Thigh Burger. And I'll tell you this about, this This is turning into the fast food. Sure. In Korea podcast now. Well, I like it. Um, Loteria has always, been, has always been awful. And then a few years ago, maybe two or three years ago, mm. someone... Gave it a whole makeover, and they. Oh, that's right. They yeah, have some good. Burger. They have some good items now. They. The classic cheeseburger. The classic cheeseburger. Excuse me, the classic cheeseburger. Well, my students were telling me today, Loteria is no longer doing hamburgers. Is that true? Across I the board. Do not know. Right now, it's not even a temporary E. coli thing. It's. Um. Yes, I did hear that E. coli. But I heard they're just like they're doing it's away around. with the burgers altogether. Street. Well, I think most people go to Loteria for an ice cream cone. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Oh, we're coming in. And How many ice orders go by? It's like ice cream, cone, ice cream cone, ice cream cone, ice cream cone. Ooh, burger! Ice cream cone, ice cream cone. Uh, I just can't believe they would do that. I mean, they already used, copied the colors of McDonald's. They got the orange, red, yellow. Everything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now we can just do away with the burger. I think some people would be disappointed. I, 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 I'm sorry, I haven't seen anything to validate that. But my students swore up and down. The carry is not doing hamburgers anymore. Hmm. They couldn't say why. But leave it to the middle schoolers to maybe know. Middle schoolers can know. On the Instagram or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that's good. Uh, every now and then they bring in something that's interesting. Like they had um, cheese sticks with bacon in it. Mm. That's uh, a good combo. Yeah, I don't think I tried it. Did I try it? Um, I like the country fries though. The, the, the hand cut fries. I like the shake fries sometimes. I get the I like to, uh, the yeah, shake fries. There's like you get fries in a bag and mm. you choose your seasoning mm. and you you, you really? put the seasoning in the bag and you shake them. Yeah. Um, shake and bake. It's like yeah. Oh shit! I'm gonna go this way. Um, I like the onion one. Mm. Yeah, those are the fries. Like every time you eat a fry, you're like licking your fingers every time. So how many fast food joints is Korea made on their own? Loteria? Uh, Loteria and Mom's Touch? That's it. Bob, uh, 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 the rice burger place. Boss Burger? Not Boss Burger. Uh, Boss burger. No, it's not Boss Burger. Bob's Burger. Ah, uh, someone's yelling at me, telling me what it is. I know I'll, I'll see it. Boost Burger. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Mm. I'll get school pizza, I'll give them that. School pizza. Oh, pizza school? No. Oh, I haven't even talked about pizza chains. 
I was just talking about like burger mm. joints. I, I consider that fast food. I guess it's not fast food. It's cheap. I love equivalent, it. equivalent to like a what's a fast pizza place? Uh, I'll pizza uh, little pizza little Caesars. Little Caesars. It's like little Caesars to me. Mmm. I think little Caesars is better though. Mmm. Those are crazy bread. Mmm. They had a little scissors here. They did. <clears throat> In Bompo? They didn't sell anything that Little Caesars sold. They just had their logo. Oh, I've seen that. <laughs> it's crazy, right? They just took the they just took the pizza pizza guy. Uh, little Caesar guy. Yeah, and I think it was like a Dunkus place. <laughs> oh, they sold some things like pastas and they sold some pizza, but it's pretty lame. I went there a couple times. Uh-huh. So they give crazy sticks, crazy bread. Uh, what? Crazy what? Michinbang? <laughs> cheese sticks? No, no, no. Cheese sticks? No, no cheese sticks. Why would you think this is a Little Caesars? Why? <laughs> Are you doing the right road? No, I don't know. <laughs> I like driving at night like this. If you have the moonroof or something, you like... Oh, that would be sweet. Yeah, put on some uh, Genesis, you know? Genesis? <laughs> Phil Collins. Into, are, are, you into you about, into, about, are you talking about Psy American Psycho into now? The night? Oh no no. Do, did they play that song? Phil Collins song? Yeah, he has a whole he hear, has a whole I rant about he has a whole lecture about Phil Collins while he oh, yeah really? yeah in Genesis. Oh, I didn't know. That. It's weird. That I, Genesis. I, I, like riding, I like riding at night with that song though. Into the night. What's it called? I can hear. In the in the air tonight? In the air tonight. Oh, that's just that's a solo stuff. That's from Face Value. Yeah, it's, I love that. That's his best album in my life. That's his best album in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people are who trash on Phil Collins. I'm like, but play face play 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 Face Value. Yeah. I don't like anything he did after No Jacket Required. Yeah. But. Face value is just a lot of pain in that album. Wow, there's no barrier to keep this from sliding into the water. Alright. Cool view, right? So, thank you for joining us. Uh, remember to subscribe. And uh, thank you, Tim. Thank you. Alright, until next time. Stay safe.